The idea was revolutionary, a television network that carried news all day, every day. That's what CNN promised when it went on the air 25 years ago today. Well, guess what? We like to watch. A whole generation has grown up tuning into wars, trials, and runaway brides at the press of a remote. CNN changed the way news is covered for good and bad. Here's the CBC's Susan Ormiston. First day for the cable news network. We're really happy to be here. At this when it launched June 1, 1980, critics dubbed CNN the Chicken Noodle Network. Mostly junior staff, no stars, and a bold vision to cover the world live. CNN will be a living history on a 24-hour-a-day basis, 365 days a year. Its eccentric visionary, Ted Turner, paid no heed. I dedicate the news channel for America. In fact, Turner reportedly bragged in 1980 to a senior executive at ABC, I'm gonna kill you network guys, he said. He didn't. He lost an estimated two million dollars a month the first year, but the upstart network grew and changed forever, the way we watch and digest TV news. CNN broke the mold and the hold the big networks had on news. News became instant, not always for the good. Good news and bad news here. The bad news is uh, uh, a lot of the time what we're seeing covered is breaking news live, which nobody has been able to kind of make any sense of. We saw political news sped up and evolving instantly. Politics operates very different now in a 24-hour news environment than it did when uh, things all had to be jammed into a half hour here, a half hour there, and that was it and lift off but we were hooked when horrors happened ratings soared we watched the challenger explode live on air in 1986. my controllers here looking very carefully at the situation how many how many crews we got two okay so we got four crews stand by to voice over this picture stand by. shut up in here open their mics these rescuers would certainly like to in 1987 we cheered collectively when baby jessica was pulled out of a well but it was the rooftop broadcast from Baghdad during the first Gulf War in 1991 that pushed CNN through the screen. The bombs and missiles targeted Saddam Hussein's palace. CNN became not only a broadcaster, but a player in world events. Both sides of this conflict had leaders watching CNN to see what was going on. CNN was reporting this war not only for us sitting in our living room, they were reporting this war to the people who were fighting it. By the early 1990s, 24-hour news networks began to explode. CNN spawned imitators, 70 networks worldwide, including Arab ones like Al Jazeera, and fierce domestic rivals like Fox, now often beating CNN. In Canada, too, CTV's Newsnet and CP24 CBC launched Newsworld in 1989, in part to challenge CNN's Made for America news agenda. I don't think that we, um, we chase the same kinds of stories. Uh, you know, for instance, the, uh, the Michael Jackson uh, you know, uh, coverage. Uh, we've covered Michael Jackson, we just haven't covered it wall to wall. We wouldn't cover it wall to wall. Um, you know, do we feel a competitive pressure from CNN? Absolutely, um, because we want to make sure that we're actually the news channel that is best serving a Canadian audience. It has been a scourge of CNN's lead that we've seen endless coverage of, well, the White Bronco and O.J. Simpson. More recently, The Runaway Bride, news that isn't. Many people here... Jonathan Mann is a former CBC journalist who jumped to CNN in 1987 and now anchors on CNN International. People can choose what they want to learn. And so we're a resource. The CBC is a resource. Our newspapers are a resource. When people complain that they're only getting one story a day, I say to them, where are you looking for your news? If anything, the growth of 24-hour news does mean more choice for viewers. I think the reality for uh, audiences everywhere is that um, they're taking 24-hour news channels for granted somewhat in the sense that they're, just, we're, we're part of the air, we're part of the oxygen, in that um, we are a service that people expect and they use us as they need us. It also means stiff competition. CNN no longer owns the turf.
it is tough it's going to be a very different world because cnn created this revolution we started the revolution but we don't own it the world owns it now the world's first twenty four hour news channel for the national i'm susan ormiston